Hey Hub Heroes, this is Jorge Fuentes from the Sidekick Strategies team and today we're going to take a look at how to edit the card view for our deals within a specific pipeline in HubSpot. Check it out. Once we log into HubSpot, we're going to go on to the right hand side where we see the gear settings icon right here and we're going to click on it, the, the gear icon. And then on the left hand side, we're going to go all the way down to objects. You see data management, then objects, and then we're going to click on deals. And so once we click on deals, we're going to go not into record customization, but into pipelines. So we're going to go into the pipelines tab and we're going to choose our pipeline. I'm just going to leave it as is with the demo sales pipeline here. And you'll notice there's this link uh, here, customize board and card view. So we're going to click on that one uh, link and then we're going to come here. And here's where we can actually edit our card uh, for our deals within a pipeline. So in this case, I'm actually going to remove uh, these two below. Actually, we want to see, for example, the amount, close date, and maybe over here, I'm going to place something else such as, for example, if I wanted to see, think about maybe the create date property. Yes, that will be there as well. And let's actually go maybe for something that might be interesting. Let's actually go by maybe latest traffic source and that'll be fine for now. So now we can actually edit that card and we're going to save it. And you're going to check uh, over here where we're going to go into the left hand side to CRM then deals. You're going to see now that all of our deals in the demo sales pipeline now display the amount, uh, close date, create date and only for those that do have a latest traffic source, which is a property that we added, only for those it will be displayed, right? So we certainly have a couple here, like this one over here, the Prince Bryant uh, June order deal. It actually says it comes from offline sources, the create date, the close date, and the amount. So that is how we can see uh, different deal properties on a deal card in a specific pipeline. And that's pretty much it. Now you can view the properties you want in that specific card for deals in order to make it easier for you to identify specific things about a deal. Remember that there's only four properties you can add to that card. So make sure to only add the four properties that are the most important for your business. And remember, education is great, but the execution is where it's at. So go out there and be the half hero that your organization needs today.